Hey everybody, it's Dr. Kara and I am a professional animal communicator and a best-selling author and I am also the creator of the Animal Wisdom Oracle card deck and that is what I have to share with you today. This is the newest version of my deck. I got a new publisher recently and I love the cards. I've changed the back. Um, I've changed the front a little bit, but not too much. It's really the, the essence is still there. It's still the same great animal juju. And, um, and I think that they are um, looking better than ever. And I just, I love the connections with the animals. And in this video, I want to share with you three ways to use animal oracle cards to live your best life, to become a better human being, to grow and evolve and change and develop and, um, you know, live your purpose, share your gifts, all those things. I really think that it's a, a daily habit. It's a daily process to continue to unfold and to become our best selves and to, um, I like using oracle cards to, to give me a reflection that I might otherwise miss to have a external objective kind of piece of information to, um, you know, so I can't hide anywhere. I can't blow it off or whatever. So I want to share three ways that I use Oracle cards in my life. And I think that they are three ways that you can use animal Oracle cards in your life. And they don't have to be my cards. As you can see, I have lots of more decks up here and behind me. Um, there's uh, so many beautiful animal based Oracle cards and tarot decks and um, all kinds of wonderful tools out there. Find the deck that resonates with you and um, get to know it, get to love it, get to use it, listen to it, respect it, honor it, and it will love you back and help you. So, okay, three things. I'm getting off track here, so I want to come back. So one one way that I use Oracle cards is as a point of focus, as a reminder. So especially when I feel like I'm ready to do something different, I'm ready to kind of up level, I want to grow, I, I have a real intention to grow, um, I will pull a card and, and ask the question like, you know, what, what is this growth period about? Or what do I need to know now? Or what do I need to remember with the intention that I'm going to put that card in a prominent place? For me, I do most of my work right here. And so I usually put that card right in front of me, just below my computer screen as a reminder, like, oh yeah, this is what I'm up to. So I will take, um, I generally use my deck, but I have also used, um, other decks as well. I mean, I have a, a, a bunch of decks that are all beautiful. They're all wonderful. They all have different qualities. So I may um, choose a different deck just based on, you know, what my focus is or just, it just hits me. I just want to pull a card from that deck. But um, I have done this, this process a bunch of times. So I'm just um, shuffling the deck and then I'm just going to fan them out. So I'm going to and I'm just gonna, I know my, my, um, my camera setup isn't great. So I'll just fan out the deck and then I'll feel with my hands, but also sometimes I'll just see like, this one really stands out. So I'll grab that one and that is the wolf. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so um, doing it all um, is true. Cause here it is, it's uh, eight o'clock at night and I'm still working. <laughs> and my husband's away and I'm taking care of the kid and the business and you know all that stuff so this one really resonates with me but um, if this was I want to know what's going on what's my focus I would pull this card and I would keep it and I would you know go deeper into it as the days unfold but really keeping in mind that the growth period that I'm in right now is um, really about the qualities of the wolf. So the wolf is a generalist. They're capable. They, they can really do anything. They really do do it all. And they also are have big hearts and they give a lot and um, especially to their family. And so they are, are really giving all of that out and that can be a challenge for them. But their the reminder is to remain in the moment, engage in the moment. And so that's the message that really resonates with me right now. And so that's what I would probably start my process with is really remembering 
not to get caught up in what time it is or what I've done or haven't done, but to just do the thing in front of me, be here right now. There's so much less stress in that way of being and there's so much more power. And so I, I think I just did a reading for myself. Um, and so I would take this card and I would just put it right down in front of me where I'm gonna see it in front of my computer screen every day and go, oh yeah, that's what I'm up to. And in fact, I'll probably do that because it's really good advice. It's a good reminder. So I am from that process, just gonna have the intention to be engaged in the moment, less thinking about the future, the past, the to-do list, but to just be really present with what I'm doing right now. So. That's the first way that I use animal oracle cards. And then another way that I use animal oracle cards and I'm shuffling again, is to do a three card reading. I really like threes. I think human brains are wired for threes. We love the beginning, the middle, the end. We love the past, the present, the future. We love threes. And so I, um, every month I do a three card forecast for the month and just tap into what's the energy coming our way this month? What do we need to be aware of? Um, but also um, in my Animal Oracle Cards Summit with Linda Tucker, who created the really amazing White Lion Leadership Cards, we did a, a reading about 2021 and what do we need to let, what do we need to take from the past? What, what are we carrying forward? What do we need to know now? And how is that going to unfold? So you can really ask any kinds of questions that you want. When I do my monthly forecast, I just kind of pull three cards and see what story they tell and how they relate to each other. Um, but you could ask, what do I need to know? What was going on in the past? Where am I coming from in this situation? What's going on now? What's the likely outcome? What do I need to bring into the future? You know, anything like that. What am I learning? What am I um, releasing? you know, any questions that you have, and then three cards. I like three cards because then I can, um, I feel like it's fine tuning and refining and, and getting a little bit more in depth because of the, the complexity of the messages. So I might just pull three cards like this, and they are the manatee, the leopard, oh, I'm not doing a great job there, the leopard, and the hummingbird. And so, um, the, the manatee also has a message of living in the present moment, but be here now, you're in charge of your future. The leopard is all about interdependence and being independent, but also flexible and interdependent and really um, intimately connected to the environment. And the hummingbird to me is all about the sweetness of life. Um, one of the messages of the hummingbird is to savor the sweetness of life, but to travel to different places to taste different flowers. And that really strikes me. That's in the guidebook. Uh, it's not on the card, but it is in the guidebook that comes with these cards. So if I were just doing a like, what's going on with me right now, three card reading, I would say, hey, <laughs> Remember, you're in charge and you get to choose your own future, but you don't do it alone. You need to be flexible, you need to work with others, and you need to be interdependent. And what comes from that is beautiful travel to, to sample all the sweetness of life and to really find the sweetness of each moment. So that would be the way that I would use a three card reading. One of my favorite ways to use um, animal oracle cards. And a final way, and I have done this um, with these cards in the past, and um, I can't, I, oh, and I've, I've done it with um, Colette's spirit animal oracle cards, where I am drawn to a particular animal. I might see it around me in the world a bunch of times. I might have a dream about it. I might just be thinking about some particular animal and I'll go to one of my decks and I'll pull out the card for that animal and and just really go what's the message right like I'm I'm getting the message from the universe that there's some animal wisdom here from this particular animal so I will have the animal in mind and then I'll go choose the card 
to get the wisdom, to get the message, to get the insight, to get the reminder, whatever I need. So one of the things I love about animal oracle cards is that they go both ways, right? We can ask a question and see who comes up, but we can also go to the animal. If I keep thinking about elephants, I'm going to go to an elephant card and sit with it. And, you know, another way that I think um, oracle cards are really powerful is they tap into your intuition and they get you comfortable with your intuition, your inner guidance. What does this mean to me? Where is my eye drawn? Um, as you saw, as I was talking about these cards, I didn't really go like literal this, 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 and this, but it was like, oh, this message, that feels really good and juicy to me. That feels like it has substance. So that's where I'm going to start with this one. I might fill in with the other stuff down the road, but um, but the beauty of the animal oracle cards is we can go and learn more about the animal. We can then discover something else about them that is meaningful for us. And we can follow our intuition. And I believe that following our intuition is the best way to become our best selves, to live our best life, to live on purpose, to find our mission, to live our mission, to express ourselves and to make the better the planet a better place, not only for ourselves, but for everybody around us, humans, animals, plants, environments, habitats, um, all of it. So those are three just, you know, kind of quick ways that I love to use animal oracle cards to, um, on a regular basis, continue doing the work on myself to keep becoming a better and better, new improved version of who I am in the world. And because I just love animals so much, they get to the heart for me of who I am and what I'm up to and, and, and model for me the ideals of who I want to be. So I take all of these animals with me wherever I go. And I encourage you and invite you to do the same. So um, if you have tried one of these ways of working with animal oracle cards, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. If the wolf has spoken to you as well, let me know because you never know. Um, and, and, you know, just go forward and use these tools. They're here for us and they're fun. And they're, you know, they're just a way to access something that's bigger than ourselves. And, um, and I love that process as well. Okay, now I'm rambling, but um, animal oracle cards, my deck, somebody else's deck, doesn't matter. Get in touch with the animals, follow their wisdom, become their best self, play with them, have fun and, um, and be you. I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day, everybody.